y'all back at you for episode number 40 of the Planting Pirates. Yep. This is where we're going to uh, take you for a little tour and show you where we planted all the free plants we got on our Plant Pirates episode. Um, I'll put a link to that below, but if uh, you check that out, you'll see where we got all the, the plants we're about to show you for free. So uh, we're going to start over here because I want to be honest with everybody. I, we got one plant that I didn't plant because um, I just haven't gotten to it yet. We, got, we, ha we had this... Um, pile of pothos here golden pothos uh, and i just haven't gotten around to planting it yet so. and i actually got um when i was using the bike pole yesterday i got intertwined around the um wheel yeah i believe and it. i had to pull the wheel off and yeah, pull it all out i believe it but um you know uh this stuff's mildly invasive but i just love the tropical look of it these leaves get huge um and just look so tropical. So mm -hmm. uh, uh, we, we're probably going to plant it on. Uh, we plant it on some of the cabbage palms that are in our gardens that we manicure a lot, so it doesn't get out of control. You know, yeah, Watch we out. keep you gotta, it cut because you got you mosquito don't... on you. It's real. Mosquitoes are real bad oh my gosh, right now, like, guys. Terrible. Yeah. So let's just keep moving. All right. Yeah. All right. The next thing we got here. This is probably one of the prizes of the day here. I think it might be a new kind. Yeah, it's this tea plant. Oh, it's just beautiful. I mean, look at the leaves on this. Such healthy cuttings too. There's there's no sign of any kind of white fly or anything on it. You guys can see I, I actually staked this one up. I don't always stake these up when I get them. So, yeah, a lot of times I just stick them right in the ground, but I really, really want this one to take. So, mm -hmm. um, and it's also kind of right by our hose here so I can splash it with water yeah, constantly. Yeah, and, and if you don't stake it here, it could yeah. fall into the driveway and then right. require more pruning. Yeah. So. So this is probably one of the one of the top prizes of the day because we collect tea plants and this one's just beautiful. Is that all of the? Stuff yeah, there, that we there got? was only two cuttings yeah. from it. So. Well, it's like an instant plant. Look at that. Yeah. All right, then over here we had a we got one stalk of corn palm or corn plant, um, and so I just threw it in the ground here with my other corn plants. There it is down there. That's the one we got this week corn plant it's super easy to propagate from cuttings yeah. even easier than the tea plants it, yeah, they it just, doesn't seem to skip a beat yeah super so. easy oh wait a minute there's another thing i haven't planted yet oh uh, yeah this, but you put it in a pot yeah this toasty uh norfolk. norfolk pine here i did put it in a pot and i've been watering it i was thinking of putting it right in this area here because uh when they cleared the lot next to us it opened up a lot of sun but then I started thinking we might be able to put a fruit tree right yeah. here, so. It's, it's, I'd much yeah. rather have fruit trees. This is looking like it might be a plant pirates, plant pirates failure from two weeks ago. I don't know, guys. It's, oh, no, that was from last week. That's that, um, they were just cuttings, there weren't roots. Yeah. And we never figured out what it was. Either. Yeah. It's not looking. It's, <coughs> you never know, Excuse though. Me, it's not looking great, but. You never yeah, know. You never know. You do never know. All right, then up here we got, I planted the shell ginger that we got right here. You guys can see. And again, this is just cuttings right here, and you can see it already flowered. Um, but we've had luck uh, getting new uh, growth off of cuttings from shell uh -huh. ginger. So, um, so there it is. I'm stoked about this. This is a beautiful plant. Beautiful flowers, too. We have it planted in other places, though. So. Mm -hmm. All right, you ready? Look at, there's more of my potatoes I planted. Mm -hmm. Red potatoes. Mm -hmm. They look like they're about ready to dig up. Yep, they do. We gotta, we gotta get rid of that vine right there, too. Yeah. All right, let's see. What else did we get? What else did we get? We got a bunch of um, bromeliads. Where'd those go? Vermilions. Oh, they're, I know where they are. They're back here. Um, we got, Two kinds. We, got the, we got the bicolor Dracaena, the uh, Marginata. Where did that, where did I put that? Oh, I don't know. I don't remember, guys. Hmm. I'm sure maybe we'll find it on our tour here. Um, yeah, the Vermilions I put in the backyard. Where did that bicolor, where did that bicolor Dracaena go? It was like this one right here. It's the same variety they were yeah they were sh they were short and bushy it's the same variety right here i don't remember where i put oh you know what i think it's up here babe i think i put it right up here oh no i didn't but i did put some of these bromeliads up here these are the ones that had a uh kind of a stripe on the leaf here 
Yeah, where? No, those I'd already planted. This was a mystery bromeliad that I found with the other bromeliads uh, that we just got this week. I don't oh, know. Cool. I don't know what that one is. So nice. Time will tell. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's go. We'll show them where, where we put the other stuff. There's some more pothos right here that I have. Um, I think gonna, that was already growing. I'm going to grow it up. Yeah, I think so. I'm going to grow it up this cabbage palm and get rid of this invasive vine here. Yeah. Replace it with, with, another, with another invasive vine. Yeah. Oh, I just want to be like that. All right. Come on, little dog. Come on, sweetie. <laughs> you guys watch our Plant Pirates episode, you'll, you, you already know this is a new dog. She showed up one morning sleeping on uh, this couch right over here. And she's not microchipped, she didn't have a collar. And we've called all the vets and- Put posters out. Yeah, we've done everything. And looks like we might have a new dog. So the kids love her. And I love her I too. honestly would have never chosen a Chihuahua, but she's a good little her dog. Her first so. night was a little rough. There's our other dog. Kind of a tear. Our, our other dog's not too sure about her, um, but she's being really good. Rose is being really good. This little dog attacked her pretty bad. And Rose didn't do anything. She's a good girl. She could have hurt her so yeah, bad. She's, she's a good such girl. a good girl. So. All right, let's see. What we got? What we got? There's another kind of tea plant. This is the classic red. What is it? The red, red sister. sister. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, look at this. We got mulberries. Yeah. This is our ever-bearing mulberry. Oh man, they're sweet. Yeah, there's tons of them. Yeah. We have another mulberry tree in the backyard. Oh, I gotta we get it. We planted this one. Yeah, we planted this one. Uh, we have another one in the backyard though that, here you go. I didn't get much from it um, last year. Yeah, mosquitoes. Just, I know, they're mosquitoes terrible. Mosquitoes are bad. Let's just keep moving. Like... All right, and this is, oh man. <laughs> I guess I should have cleaned this up, sorry. We just got some new pool furniture. And, I forgot that the box was sitting over here. That doesn't make our garden look good, does it? The kids got Man. to play with it for a while. It's terrible. It's All right, where are those new bromeliads? Um, I know that I planted them back here. Some of them. Where did they go? Oh, here's some up here. Yeah, that's right. So here's some more of this, this one that had the, the color on it. The, the, the stripies on it. Oh, I know where I planted another bromeliad, too. We got a lot of bromeliads this week, which we'll take. Yeah, here we go. And then there's this one right here. And you can see, guys, it already has little pups coming off of it. So These were great. They look, you know, sometimes when we get them in the ground, they look pretty... Uh, yeah, they do. Sorry, but these look great. Yeah. They'll just start going. Yeah, they do, so... All right, uh, we have those. We have that one. I think I planted one of those back here. Where did I put those Dracaenas? I don't remember. Did you put them in the dog yard? No, I didn't put anything back there this time. So I don't know where they are. Did I put them along this fence over here? No. The Dracaenas disappeared, I guess. No, I didn't put anything in the pool area this time. So. But anyways, guys, it's uh, we got some cuttings um, of this kind right here. You can see that's a when they're in full sun, they lose some of their color. Like see down here, the this is the newer one, the newer shoot. It still has a lot of red and stuff in it. But um, when this variety gets in full sun, it seems like they start to turn green a little bit. Eh? Didn't you put some over here by the bird of paradise? Mm -mm. We can go look. Because you just you cleared out this bird of paradise because it was really really big. Yeah. And um, it's kind of taking over our coonty, which is much bigger. And it's kind of starting to kill the Yeah, this, this bird of paradise right here, this clump filled in this whole area here. All uh -huh. all this and this all huge yeah, all around here. Kind of took over. In fact, oh yeah, maybe I did plant these here. Yeah. But uh, this bird of paradise, I mean, I, I mean, I'm, if, if you ever have a clump of it this big, I don't know what to say other than you need to rip your chainsaw out. Uh, that yeah. I had to chainsaw this thing to get. Right. We tried digging these little guys yeah. out, but they wouldn't. It's not that it's super woody. You could take a you could take a machete to it if you wanted to, but to, to really do it quickly and to get a shape to it, I had to take my chainsaw to it. Uh -huh. 
But, oh, look at this. It's the season of plumeria. They smell so the good. Line. These are some of the most fragrant oh, plumeria, yeah, the yellow ones. And then we have this, we have a rare one our neighbor oh. gave us. She got it in Hawaii. I think we got another day. Yeah, we've been waiting on these flowers. I can't they're wait. They're like crimson. I know, I can't they're like, wait. They're like a, a fuchsia. I can't um, wait. But they're not like the regular fuchsia ones. Yeah. They're more red. All right, y'all, we're not going to spend all day looking for the, uh, the bicolored dracaena. Um, Maybe I'll point it out on the next Plant Pirates episode. I don't know. But uh, anyways, if you have any questions or comments about any of the plants we showed you here today, just post down below. Till next time, everybody out there, take care. Bye.